Here's the 217 ALZ Wiffle Ball Classic has been doing their part for Alzheimer's awareness. This year, almost $85,000 was raised on sponsorships alone. Jake Bedell shows us how the tournament continues to leave a lasting impression and continues to grow. For one week each year, an otherwise normal backyard becomes anything but. We're at EP Field. And it releases everyone's inner child. But what goes on at the 217 ALZ Wiffle Ball Classic is about more than winning trophies. This organization is all about trying to give back. Over the span of nine years, EP Field has become a place for those who have been affected by Alzheimer's to cope. Double-sided, right? We, we hate to hear it, but at the same time, we're remembering the loved ones that we've lost. We're bringing their memories back alive to those people that can come here and share some, some happy memories with their families. Inside the fences, a community comes together to laugh, cry, and celebrate. Let's go! We went through a 10-year journey with my father-in-law and my mom, and so to walk through here and realize the money that's being raised in going towards research and the Alzheimer's Association is just terrific. Word of mouth has not only gotten teams from other states involved, it's helped raise awareness to the next generation. I myself didn't realize what Alzheimer's was until I was a teenager when my mom got diagnosed. To see kids out here to understand this event, to be a part of it, it really just means a lot to me. And there's something special to be said about a ballpark with trees and hot tubs on the grounds. I uh, usually do not have a tree in right field. There's two of them. One's at foul, but you play off the leaves. There's a circle that's like pitcher's hand. Everyone's playing wiffle ball. As founder Ethan Parker now nears college graduation, some worries have swirled if this fundraiser will continue. As long as our backs and our, our minds hold up, we're going to keep going with this thing. And for my daughter, who's seven years old, who just played her first one, if she can come run this thing in 20 years, it'd be, it'd be really special. Classic is inching closer to nearly a million dollars raised. Competition on the field can get intense, but at the end of the day, players shake hands because the names on the fence mean more than the score on the board. Reporting for WAND Sports, I'm Jake Bedell.